Hey everyone, I'm Newbyte, and you probably saw the title that I'm playing Pistol Gun 3D at more than 120 FPS. But wait, you might be asking, how is this possible? Pistol Gun 3D is capped at 60 FPS or 30. Well, let's go to the settings. So yeah, you see those 60 and 30 FPS? But wait, they are a joke to me. Look at that FPS. 144 FPS. Isn't this ridiculous? This is not fake. This is real FPS, not fake. So in this video, I'll show you guys how to unlock your FPS limit for Pixel Gun 2D. But here's one thing you must know. This requires you to play Pixel Gun 2D on PC. So if you don't know how to play Pixel Gun 2D on PC, watch my previous video. And for this trick, you cannot do this on mobile, so I'm sorry about this. This is only doable for PC. So let's get right into it. But here's the emulator I'm gonna mention that is able to unlock the FPS limit of PC Gun D. And it's going to be BlueStacks 4. I cannot find any other emulator that can bypass the FPS limit, so if the emulator does not show you restart your application in order for changes to take effect when you change the frame limit, then that's the emulator that will be able to unlock the FPS for Pissing on the D. Or else, if it does show restart your application for changes to take effect for that frame limit, then it's not going to work. So before we use BlueStacks 4, we must make sure that BlueStacks 4 is already at 60 FPS when it before it's booting. So let's go to instant settings and go scroll down to frame rate. So as you can see, this is 60 FPS. It's already set up. But if it's not 60 FPS, then make sure it's 60 FPS. Then save it and launch BlueStacks 4. And at this point, this is where FPS limit bypassing will be able to work. So first we have to open Pixel Gun 3D. When the game is finally opened, that's the time where you will be finally be able to change your FPS limit in the emulator settings so this glitch will be able to work. So let's wait for a little bit. Alrighty, so Pistol Gun 3D is currently running at 60 FPS, and as you can see, when you're gonna when you're gonna bypass the FPS limit, this thing is absolute joke. So you do not really need to worry about this. So what you're gonna do is I'm gonna exit full screen, and let me go to settings, and then go to engine, and let me change the frame limit. So at this point, my monitor is 144 Hz, so I'm going to set it to 144 Hz. As simple as that, and as you can see, my frame is now 130, and it can run up to 144, but I do not know why it does not not run at its full potential. Maybe Pistagon 3D is not uh, well optimized. Anyways, let's have some gameplay with this frame limit. So as you can see, I just I just opened Sniper Forts, and as you can see, I can run the game at 120 FPS. But the thing is, you guys are probably gonna experience some issues with stuttering. So I did change my I did change my mind. So before I used to recommend performance mode and OpenGL, but never mind. Because this was too much stutters, I changed the compatibility and DirectX, and so far, and so far, my frames are more consistent than ever. It's keeping up its frames, and also, I am experiencing less stuttering. So I recommend you DirectX and compatibility mode next time you use BlueStacks 4 or 5.
but at this point blue stacks 4 is the only emulator i can know that actually is able to bypass F fps limit so let's enjoy the gameplay so my first impressions when i found out about this glitch is that i was so surprised by how the game really became more smooth than ever like at 60 fps it kind of looked like a, a bit choppy i don't know about my monitor but my monitor is like va panel which i think it's pretty slow for gaming but next time uh maybe in like a new maybe in like a week i'll be changing to an ips panel and i know i hope i'm gonna have a much better gameplay experience Uh, this guy is, must be a pro. But anyways... Yeah, not even that good in sniper forts, but this guy is really good. Honestly, when I moved to PC, I got much better in, in sniping, but not really as good uh, as... Not really a big difference in skill, because... There was not really a big difference when I was playing uh, Sniper Force on mobile compared to PC. But it pretty much made uh, sniping much easier for me because I do not really need to zoom in because my motor is too big. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to fight against this guy. Maybe the best pixel gun 3D player in the world? I don't know. Man, this guy is so hard to fight against. Man got such a good sniping skill. So yeah, when I changed my frame frame rate from like 60 to 120, I saw a big difference in smoothness. Like, Pistol Gun D felt way much smoother than before, and honestly, it did reduce my input lag as well, which really, really improved my gameplay a lot. So, if you are on a high end PC and you play Pistol Gun D, I recommend you to do that. But then, there is one thing. What happens if you want to exit blue stacks and then you want to play Pistol Gun D again with 120 FPS or more? Well, I'll tell you how. So basically, okay, don't call me trash because this guy, I think he's the best Sniper Force player in the world. Maybe, maybe. Maybe he's better than Kuak. So, so before you close the emulator, just go to settings, go to engine, and then set the frames to 6... Set the frames to 60, or just disable enable high frame rates. So in this case, when you open BlueStacks again, you will repeat the same steps again to unlock the FPS for Pistagon 2D. So if you enjoy, if you guys enjoyed the video, press the like button and subscribe to my channel to see more content from me. Now I'll see you guys in the next video and peace out.